Oh, hi, I'm Kevin. I'm not saying we should make a drum playing robot, but what if we did? So generally the MIDI controller sends no information to the computer and plays to a synthesized instrument on the computer's audio output or computer speakers. Ableton Live also has the ability to send no information back to the controller to give the user feedback on what note sequence they are in. What if we hijack this data to trigger a bunch of servo motors creating a literal drum machine? Now Kevin, why am I making a musical machine that plays drums besides just playing music? Well, I don't know how to play music, for one. That's two, what are you doing in here? Three, I'm bored. Uh, we're in quarantine. It seems like something I can make some cool notes out of and maybe inspire other people to make other music. I'm more of a passenger of ideas, of execution, and where I go from that is play around with stuff. Now, if I make a machine making the music, am I making the music because I made the machine? I don't know. Now, there may be a little bit of coding. Don't let that intimidate you. It's not much code. It's just telling the servo motors to trigger whenever a MIDI note is triggered or sent to the microcontroller. The link is in the description below. You can just copy and paste it. And... Mallets are a really great thing because they could turn almost anything into a percussion instrument. Just like tapping on it. I designed and 3D printed holders for the drum motors along with the mallets. I'm using a Teensy 3.2 microcontroller by PJRC. The first motor shakes a metal craft chain against an empty can of cat food to emulate the sound of a closed cymbal. A plastic cap of a bottle cam slams against the table creating a compressed snare sound. As an alternative metal sound, I tape three quarters to another can of cat food to make a loud clock noise to give a micro snare effect. To emulate a bass kick, I have a servo motor tapping a xylophone mallet against a cone of an old junk set of speakers. I know what you're thinking. Kevin, why are you running individual data lines to all the servo motors instead of buying a 16 channel driver that does all that for you to save you a lot of cable management? It's an obvious question. Well, I'm not made of money, fancy pants. I apply for a lot of grants to get a lot of money to buy those drivers and buy a lot of other cool stuff, but you know, I'm working with what I got here. So You don't have to use a 60 amp, you know, 5V electrical thing, but if it's around, you could use it. I built a robot that plays music or plays beats. I really think about acoustics a lot when I was putting together this drum machine. So there's this funny meme online with uh, producers and the wife's like, come to bed. He's like, no, I can't. The snare sounds like garbage. It made me think a lot about the bridge of like the analog to digital that we make. We're living in the age of a lot of robotics and motors and such. It's funny to see kind of like a robot be playing the drums and or even taking the Ableton program outside of its intended use. So that concludes my robot drum machine project. If you find any of this fascinating, please leave a like or comment. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching the video.